Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Club. Of course, I'm Chris Chaos here with your Smackdown Live 411 for April the 18th, 2017. Now, Smackdown starts off the show with a tribute to Rosie, RIP, brother. Uh, I hate getting word that another another fellow brother in arms has, has died, but it's... And I, I still don't know what as of this recording because I haven't looked into it I still don't know what happened and why he 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 passed but my prayers are out to the family and I just hope that that it was something natural and I'll just leave it at that uh Smackdown starts off with Charlotte the queen owning it uh wants a title shot Naomi comes out bam you want a title shot let's do it Shane comes out. Eh, the land of opportunity, but you have to earn it. Sets up the match. Charlotte versus Naomi later tonight. Charlotte wins. She gets the the title shot next week. Uh, the the six man or the six pack or whatever you want to call it for the number one contendership to the WWE title. It's weird that they would do this now. Like, I don't like the fact that SmackDown already has the number one contender for the United States title and also a number one contender for the WWE title and both of those titles are still to be decided on uh, well in less than two weeks of payback that's just telling your audience that nothing is going to change even though they did give the caveat well uh you know, whoever wins, Chris Jericho or uh, Kevin, Chris Jericho or Kevin Owens, either one, whoever wins is coming to SmackDown because the title is coming to SmackDown. And they haven't put that on the WWE title, which tells you Randy's going to win, but Jericho's about to leave and go tour with Fozzie, which is, you know, justified. So I, you know, I, I, I fully think that, uh, that, that Kevin Owens is going to win as well. It's just weird. I, I, I don't... I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not going to, like, go crazy about it. Jinder Mahal, Mojo Rawley, Luke Harper, Eric Roman, S Eric Roman, uh, Sami Zayn, and Dolph Ziggler. And Jinder gets the win with the help of the Bollywood boys, which he may or may not have <laughs> wanted. I thought this is weird this is absolutely weird for them to go ahead and because they hadn't they hadn't been pushing him and now all of a sudden he's the number one contender to the WWE title I mean you go from losing to Mojo Rawley to now a week later you're the number one contender I think it's bad booking and and I'll tell you why because I think Mojo and him have issues to work out or he feels like they have issues to work out and they needed to further that which needed to give him a big win later to build up to him getting a shot at either the United States title or the uh, the heavyweight title I don't like that they just thrust him into this position I you know I I didn't like it last week, and I don't exactly love the fact that, you know, Barry Corbin could have had that spot. AJ could have had that spot. Sammy could have had that spot. These are guys that really have nothing else going on except, you know, AJ being the, the United States number one contender. But if you took that away, he has nothing, and it would have been a perfect spot for him to get because he still owed that rematch. Think about that. Um... Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I like I like I like Gender getting pushed. I think he's really really stepped up his game. I really think that it's going to be good uh him and Randy at Backlash next month. So they got 4 weeks to build this. So let's build it. The uh the end of the match, Randy comes out after and, and kind of segues t 
to Bray. He says, I'm going to get to you, but first, let me deal with Bray. And then Bray comes on the, 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 uh, are we still calling it the Titan Tron? I don't really know. And cuts a promo, and, you know, it just kind of, it's a, a regular Bray promo. It's eerie, it's creepy, and I think that Bray needs to burn down Randy's house. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I think needs to happen. And there's still a week to do it. I just don't think it's going to happen, and this is kind of a wash uh, feud for me. I'm just not a fan anymore because of what they're doing with Bray. I just, I would have rather Bray been the champion going into this, and then dropping it to Randy now would have made a lot more sense to me. Put Bray on Raw because he, he may be dropping the title, but then he's going to Raw, so he's got new, he's not got the Wyatt family around him. He's Hopefully they don't put Braun back with him, and, and they just let him do his own thing. And I'm just, I'm totally over the booking of Bray Wyatt. I just, I've been over it for a while. And then he wins the title, and I thought, maybe they're finally... No, they're not finally doing anything. They're they're still screwing it up, screwing him up. Uh, the the uh, AJ Corbin promo was good, set up for tonight for the main event. Charlotte beats Naomi in natural selection. These two had a really good match, but I think... Well, it was a good match. It wasn't a really good match, but it was it was good. I think next week they're really gonna bring it. Uh, if you know, if we know Charlotte like we like we think we do, she's really gonna bring it next week. And I just hope Naomi can keep up, and I think she can. Uh, the Colognes beating American Alpha, I love. Uh, they didn't use the the their tag name, which I still will not say. And they go in to hopefully a push. You know, maybe not for the tag titles, not right off the bat, but something special. I hope that they're going to do with these guys. The uh, Ty Dillinger promo and then the video package was, was nicely done. Uh, and then they showed up during SmackDown. There was also a promo uh, for NXT tomorrow night with Ty versus Eric Young in the cage, which I can't wait to see. I uh, heard it was good. No spoilers. Uh, Kevin Owens beats uh, Gary Gandy, which I thought, hey, you know, Gary's over with me. And then he botches the pop-up powerbomb. He tries to jump into the powerbomb instead of coming to Kevin's and letting Kevin pop him up. He just tries to come off the rope and jump right into it. So he just screwed that all up. Nerves, but now you're not over anymore. Buried. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. The uh, AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin match. So cannot win for AJ Styles. Looked to me like the referee botched the finish. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna hold. I'm not gonna go into a big thing about that. Uh, I do want to talk about Talking Smack for just a minute. Uh, Jinder Mahal, the Cologne, Charlotte Flair, all on there. All good choices for this edition of. Talking Smack, I thought that the colognes come off the best. If you go back and watch it, the uh, you know th they came on there with a purpose, with a you know with meaning. They're like, hey, look, we were once tag team champions. You know, we wrestled at WrestleMania and beat the Usos for the titles. You know, we yeah, it wasn't that long ago. You know, it was just five years ago. We still have it, and we're here to do it again. Uh, so who knows, maybe they will book them in the Usos. Uh, who knows? Who knows how that's going to work. And I, if they do a good few, a good story with it, a good feud with it, I'm okay with the Usos dropping the belts to the Colognes. I have no problem with that. Although, I, I'm kind of reminiscent of wanting longer title reigns, and we're just not getting that uh, these days. In WWE, I think I thought Charlotte didn't come off all that well on Talking Smack. She didn't. She wasn't like overly heel. She was more kind of baby face, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, and I got to give a shout out to Daniel and Bree. They are because Daniel wasn't here tonight, so they're actually getting ready to have a baby. 
It's awesome. It's awesome news. Congratulations to those two. And I hope that Daniel will be back in a couple of weeks. I honestly don't think he'll be back next week. And it just depends on when they have the baby. Because I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out just right after they have the baby. Because it'll probably be all over social media. And I'll probably get all kind of notifications from everything that I'm involved with. Uh, so I'm sure I'll know, and I'll tweet it out, and everybody can rejoice in a new life being born. I'm not a fan of the name they chose for the for Birdie Joe. I'm not really a fan of that, but I'm not here to judge on names. My mother named me Christopher, and I'm not a fan of that either. So there you go, and I've lived with it for 32 years. So it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, I'm going to try my best to record the uh, podcast tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to record the podcast last week because they said so much going on, and I'm so I'm going to try to 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 sit down and actually give you a thirty minute, a good thirty minute podcast. So be on the lookout for that uh, at SoundCloud. Just search Chris Chaos; it'll come up, and then uh, or just you know follow me on Twitter at Dancer Chaos. I'm always active. Till then, that's all I got. Deuces, Chaos is out.